Hi guys, I wanted to jump on here really quickly and update you on the four Americans that were uh, taken, I can't say the K word, uh, Cade in Mexico. Uh, according to CNN, Latavia McGee was going down to Mexico to get plastic surgery, a BBL. Now, I used to live in San Diego. This is common. I went down to Mexico to get my teeth done. They do a really good job and the price is extremely lower. So according to published reports, Latavia drove down with three of her other friends, uh, Eric Williams, Shahid Woodard, and Zendel. They drove down in a white minivan and they crossed over the border at uh, Brownsville, Texas. Once they crossed over, it's being reported that a car pulled up next to them and just started firing. Shahid and Zendel got out the car, tried to run, and unfortunately they lost their life right there at the scene. Also, there was a bystander, an innocent bystander that lost their life. Then they took Latavia and Eric by force and hid them in several different locations until they were found by public officials. Good evening. Two of the victims are back on American soil, recovering at this hospital behind me. While the U.S. government is working to get back the other bodies of the other two victims. Now, we talked to the wife of one of the survivors. She told us family is still in shock. Two Americans who survived being caught in a shootout and kidnapped by cartel gunmen were taken to a hospital in Brownsville, Texas today. Mexican authorities found Latavia McGee and Eric Williams at a stash house outside the city of Matamoros after gunmen moved them to multiple locations to avoid capture. It was the end of a road trip for cosmetic surgery. McGee, Williams, along with their close friends, Shahid Woodard and Zindel Brown, traveled last week from South Carolina to Matamoros so McGee could have cosmetic surgery. This video shows the moment when they were kidnapped at gunpoint after being caught in a shootout between rival cartel gangs. Here, you see McGee being forced into the back of a pickup truck by armed men, with others who appear hurt, also dragged and loaded onto the truck bed. Woodard and Brown were killed. Traveling abroad for medicine and medical procedures is common. More than a million Americans traveled to Mexico for health tourism last year, spending about $250 million. 38-year-old Williams, a husband and father, was shot in the leg but is expected to survive. We talked to his wife, Michelle, moments ago from North Carolina. She didn't want to show her face, but says she talked to her husband today. Did he tell you anything about that moment? at all no we didn't discuss it because it was to hear his voice it was just a lot of crying my son was there and my son just wanted to hear his voice and then he had to go because he was going into the, the hospital cbs news has learned that mcgee had been to mexico before for cosmetic surgery investigators are pointing the blame at the gulf cartel for this incident while mexican authorities have announced that they've arrested a 24 year old in connection with this attack nora now, Mexican officials is reporting that the Americans were mistaken as Haitian drug lords. However, unofficial reports, a.k.a. the rumor is that the Americans were actually drug dealers. And if that's true, then what happened in broad daylight is not unusual. The cartels in Mexico are serious, especially in Texas uh, cities that border Mexico, like places like Brownsville, Juarez, places like that. It's really, really serious. The Mexican cartels get away with a lot, things that would never fly over here in the United States. So the moral of the story is, you guys, you have to be extremely careful when you go into Mexico. If something goes wrong and you somehow get entangled with uh, Mexican law officials, you are at their mercy. You're not, it does not run the same as the United States. And this is the problem that we're having now with the Shanquilla Robinson case. You might find justice over there without the United States getting involved, or you may not. United States may work with the Mexican officials, or they may not. The process is extremely slow. I mean, it's just really best to not get entangled over there with Mexican officials. So try to be as careful as you can when you go into Mexico. And remember, you're not at home. Here's a few words from the victim's family. What can you tell us about your nephew? And your niece, Latavia. She is a she's a very very knowing person. She is very she's very nice. 
and she is a very loving mother. Yeah, Shahi, Shahi, he, no, he is very quiet, you know. He, he's about the same thing as, you know, Latavia. He's very quiet and he helps people. He'll do anything for people if anybody asks.